your life. And Jason, from time to shrink, and it's time to? Well, it's time for me to drink. It's time for you to drink. <laughs> yeah, very, very sadly. I am. Um, it's not sad. It's, it's just not sad. sad. It's just sad in the moment. It's not sad. It's not sad at all. Fun. But I am doing an elimination diet. I have had this major, major flare up on my face that apparently mm. I have rosacea. That's not what tonight's about. But it kind of triggered me to realize that I need to clean up a lot of stuff. So I'm kind of doing a detox of all kinds of possible triggers, and so I'm following like an elimination diet and part of it is no alcohol. So I'm going to make myself a little mocktail before we get started. I had a couple different kombuchas in the fridge that I've been saving. I've been saving them to make drinks with, but I'm just going to make a mocktail. I'm just going to call it that to make myself feel better. It's really, I'm just drinking kombucha, but this was be well tonic. I don't care for this one. And then this one, if you watch us very often, you know that sometimes I accidentally say some references that I get super embarrassed about. Well, just the name of the drink tonight is going to do it. This would be the G spot kombucha open after party is what it says right on the can but it is so good hey marla it is so good but kombucha does have some sugar so i'm going to pour it in my nice little copper mug so that i can make can myself feel one. good yeah you can get rid of that one then i'm just going to cut it with some sparkling water again this way at least i feel like i'm drinking something bubbly and i can be part of the party without actually having any alcohol so all right, there so tonight is going to be Jason's favorites. He Which, incidentally, are not Erica's favorites. Not at so all. Like our, it kind of works out because yeah. you're not drinking. You know, what we like see. is not the same at all, so it won't... It, I'm not going to be tempted either way. Like, I am set on my plan. Right, right, right. Put it right under my face, my very favorite candy or my very favorite piece of cheese, and I would not eat it. Like, I am determined. She's ready. She's but set. he did decide to be nice and make drinks that I wouldn't yeah. like. Yeah, they're All kind right, of my favorites. Get rid of these. Yeah, pull up your store, whatever you want to do. I don't know if you're standing or sitting I'm sit. what you want to do. I mean I'm I might as well. Right. I'm wearing my pajama pants and everything, y'all. Super cool. the one I'm gonna drink and I don't have the the need, but we'll get that in a minute. So this is uh Sazerac. This is um a very I don't know traditional type of cocktail. Sazerac really like is a it. New Orleans cocktail, right? Yeah, and um, I make mine with with uh, rye whiskey and cognac. Some people just do rye whiskey, but I like to add the cognac. You know, we like to do things a little bit different here. Um, I also add an ice cube where most people, they shake it and then strain it, but we're going to do it this way. So it's a lot of fun, easy drink to make if you have the ingredients. And, and like usual, we kind of do delicious. our adaption on things. Yes. Like we usually do some kind of something different. But, you know, there's nothing new under the sun. So I'm sure somebody else has done what we've done. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. There's, there's nothing new. But it's very much like an old-fashioned. We've got our time to shrink sugar cubes, low-carb sugar cubes here. Um, there, we use about four to get the size of an actual sugar cube. All it is is some... I, I, we, it's I golden. It's, it's Lacanto's golden sweetener. Yeah, that's where this is right here. Yeah. And I, so you can use these packets. You don't have to use the sugar cubes because you're just going to crush the sugar cubes right. up. But I um, like the look and feel of it being the same. Right. So I, I mean, like to make the sugar cubes. It's literally all I do is put them in a little ice cube, mini ice cube tray, and I let them sit for a few days until they harden, and I pop them out. The longer like, they sit, yeah, the better they are. And they stay hard You have to forever. pop them out because... They kind of, I don't know if you can even see that. They, there's two colors. Yeah, to they it. kind and of start to darken, get know. a little darker brown too, which looks more like right, the, like the sugar, the sugar cube, like the raw sugar cube. Yeah, the raw sugar. All right, so making the Sazerac, really one of my new favorite drinks. Just discovered it not too long ago. We're gonna go. We got four of our time to shrink sugar cubes equal to like a sugar cube, which I think is like. Teaspoon, maybe? Um, I don't know. It looks like about a teaspoon. Yeah, I think that's what it usually comes out to. It's about a teaspoon. So, going with three dashes of the Pichal bitter, two of the Angostura, and you can do what you want. Um, for this drink, I stay pretty classic to these two bitters. You know, I always say, like, drink the bitters you like, use what you want, don't let people you tell know, you you're doing you it wrong. You said you were going to make things I didn't like. This one, I don't mind. 
Well, but <laughs> starting out strong. This, well, but this is my favorite one. This is his favorite. This, favorite. Favorite. this is the only one of the night that I would drink. Though, you want some I bitters think. in your mocktail there? I would, that but I would do it. Oh, geez, I completely screwed this. So I screwed the whole drink up. What'd you do? We absolutely screwed the whole drink up. Yeah, give me a glass. Yes, oh we God. are off to the start. What did you do? You have to spray the glass. Oh, you missed the accent. Yeah. Oh, y'all. This That's is so a really important. Like, this is so yeah. important. Backing it up. So if you're just coming in, you've missed nothing. <laughs> Update, Erica is not drinking alcohol right now, so I have my mocktail, a.k.a. just a kombucha and sparkling water, but I put it in a fun little cup so I could feel apart. Yeah, so. And Jason messed up. So normally what you would do is take like a, uh, well, like just a, get rid of this no, I'm going to use it. Oh, okay. Um, you would take like a sixteenth of absinthe and you would put it in the glass and you would kind of like work it around and, mm -hmm. and they say to discard the texture. We have like this. Yeah. I don't if know you what have our but, cookbook, our low carb cocktails book, I tell you all the different tools that we use for everything and this exact mister is in that you know it's listed on the amazon yeah we just start over babe again. just start over but i on. love this it's really i think it's supposed to be a perfume sprayer no yeah. no i know what Notices. it is it's a, no it's supposed to be a spritzer to water orchids yeah that's what I'm like do. things like that all right so there but you it go. works perfectly for this oh i love it and we're going to use it in other if ways if you don't have too, one so. you could swirl put some in the yeah, bottom and sure swirl would. your drink around you know you talked about that yeah all right I barely wasn't listening, y'all. You were keeping making fun of me. So, hey, uh, hey, hey, hey. Now, the one Happy thing Friday. I don't love about the Lacanta is it doesn't like dissolve perfectly when you're making Which your, I kind of like that little yeah, bit. Yeah, it gives sugar. it a little bit, but you have to play with it. I think you have to play with your cocktail a little but bit. But I feel more. like real raw sugar doesn't always dissolve. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. All right, so for our size, we've got the sugar cubes, we've got the bitters. Thank you, Katie. Spray with absinthe. I'm going to go with an ounce and a half of the rye vodka. I, I love Bullet. I really do. It's really, truly one of my favorite liquors. Um, I don't know. I just love it. And then this is a cognac. I just picked they it up. Were, they today. were out of his favorite, this, so he just bought a little mini. The store here where we live, like we've got a total beer and wine, which when we go to, it's great. But it's on the other side of town, kind of. And yeah. The local place, it's great if we're going for like bourbons or vodkas or what's a tequila. Oh my gosh, have a ton of tequila. But if you want something specialized, like even like a, a good gin, they have they only have like the mainstream rums. Like you can't get the good dark or rums or anything like that. Like but, so I just went with a, bit, a little bottle of the um, what was this? Cavorcier. It's the Cavorcier. It's okay. It's fine. But I just didn't want a whole bottle of it. Uh, yeah. So I like to stir the, the sugar cube up a little bit before I do anything else. A lot of people, like traditionally you would make a Sazerac in a, a cocktail shaker and you would strain it and it would be chilled and you wouldn't want the ice in it. But I kind of get, I like kind of like old fashioned. This is how he likes to drink I kind of like the old fashioned feel of it, so. And another thing y'all is, if this is a drink you've never tried before and say you've never had cognac, it's good to buy something smaller to see if it's something you're even interested in sometimes. We say that all the time. Yeah, yeah. With different gins, if it's an alcohol that you're new to, it's great to buy miniature versions, even yeah. if you can get even smaller than this often, and then see what you like, you know, because yeah. everything does not taste the same. And if you're making your low, uh, your um, time to shrink, your low carb um, brandy uh, triple sec, you yeah. can use brandy instead if that's what yeah. you have. Yeah, you could. They're really the same thing. It's just... It's like, it's like what champagne is to sparkling wine, cognac is to brandy. Is that right? I didn't know that. I did not know that. I'm learning uh, something new, y'all. All right. And then I like, like I said, I like to go with one of our bigger ice cubes in here. Just rimmed it with a little lemon juice. You could also use an orange here if you wanted. Lemon's the traditional. And I like to just leave the ice in there, let it melt around. It kind of gives it like the old fashioned feel. Eric, it does kind of like this drink, but... Yeah, I do like this one. He lied to me. He said he was making three drinks, but I didn't Well, like... I'm making three drinks, so you don't like that. Oh, you're making more than... Well, I'm not making three drinks. Okay, whatever. That's fine. Like I said, nothing is going to tempt me right now. I am determined to get my health back on track, y'all, and 
I don't know that alcohol is a huge factor, but it could be. And I'd rather just do zero for like six weeks and then slowly introduce different things back in than just have a little bit here and there right now. So long story short, it over on my my YouTube channel. This is my YouTube. <laughs> this is my YouTube channel. This is not Instagram. I will be coming out tomorrow morning at 8 a.m., y'all, and explaining what the next little while is going to look like on my channel, and that's also going to talk about my health journey. So I'll explain all of while I'm not drinking and all of that tomorrow, but for now, I'm just going to enjoy my G-Spot, which is <laughs> the name of the kombucha. I did not name it. Yeah. That was what it's called. Later when we're Netflix and chill before. <laughs> If you, watch the, if you watch the last live stream, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, I and love if this. If you did it, I'm go just watch it. It's worth it. Go over. watch it. It's totally worth it. It's at 16 minutes. It's 16 it's minutes. 16 yeah. minute mark. I know. It's our Halloween friends, special. My friends have all gone to watch it. <laughs> um, so this is Sazerac. I love the the lemon in it. You get kind of the bouquet of the lemon. I don't think that's the right word for the liquor, but you definitely get a, a nose full of the lemon as you're Hazel. drinking it. It's definitely worth Hazel. having. Hazel always feels the need to come. And and you know, what I like to do with our citrus is like, no. uh, say if I'm, if I'm making a drink, I'd probably drink two of these in a night, right? So I take two of my shavings off of the lemon and then we would just leave it like this because we're not going to use the juice. And a lot of times we, we use oranges and things. So the peels keep the oil. Like, they're not quite as oily. Yeah, when you do it with the oranges, Caroline just eats them behind Yeah, she just eats them behind She just cuts into them and eats them Which annoys me because I'm saving those oranges for the next night so I can get more peel <laughs> off of it. You just make a little bit bigger peel. Uh, maybe put a little flame to it, get a little more oil off of it. But you can really get two nights out of... Um, Thank you, Marla. Know. So, cheers. Cheers. Erica's not happy. I'm not. <sighs> All right, so let me clean this up. I'll make one that I know you don't like okay. next. Make okay, make one that you know I don't. And y'all, by the way, if you want to make what he's making, I did go ahead tonight. Yeah. I was on top of things tonight, and it is down below already. I usually post the stuff after the live because I'm just not prepared. But Jason has it all typed up and everything for y'all. Hopefully he typed it up right because I didn't even read it. I just copied oh, and pasted it. Oh, and I did on the iPad too, so... Uh -oh. Well, maybe, Jack, you should read and make sure that there's no errors in that. I don't know. You won't even know. All right. And okay. I saw somewhere. Yeah. Hey, what you doing? Y'all, my dog, I know you can't really see her because oh, she's not quite you. tall enough. Maybe you can, but she's like all over around us. She does not like when we're not paying her the, all of the attention all right this next drink uh we were out drinking with friends not out drinking but we were at a friend's house drinking yeah. and we were just like making stuff <laughs> buying stuff and we were making martinis and then she was like yeah, let's Carol, do something so let's do something with pickles and, and tequila yeah, not and, me Lacey, my yeah, friend and this this new drink was born so i'm calling this the atomic pickle martini i think is what we called it just because we have these spicy atomic pickles that we get at aldi if you if you like spicy and you like pickles and you see these at the aldi yeah they run oh out gosh. so oh, fast yeah. so every time i see them i buy them like two they're so good at least they're so months. good so it's kind of like a martini except it uses tequila i don't know if you want to what do you want baby I don't know if you want to put some pickles on my sure. put on the toothpick there for us. So very classic. I'm using just Reposado. This is Epsilon. We talk about it all the time. I'm actually running out of this one. Um, actually, the pepper might be cool in it. I don't know. I know. That's what I was just thinking. Um, so this is Epsilon. It's kind of like a martini idea, but with tequila. So making a martini, you would go with two and a half ounces of your liquor. So we're going... Two, and we'll call that a half of tequila. Now, the vermouth, especially for this one, the vermouth is um, very much optional. It kind of takes the bite off of it, like the really bitterness of it. Because it, it, this, this drink is right, tequila. I gotta wash my hands. I'll be right back, y'all. This drink is tequila and pickle juice, y'all. So it, that just it, sounds so it, gross. It can really, depending on the pickle, like the quality of the pickle you have and everything, it can really have some bite to it. 
I'm making it like a martini, of course, so I'm, you know I'm going with a little bit of vermouth. Just, you know, you go half uh, ounce. I'm, I think like I said three-fourths of an ounce on the I recipe. Think when you and Lacey made it, you didn't have the spicy we don't. pickles. Oh, we didn't have the spicy so pickles. But we had a high quality. You'll have to make yeah. her one this yeah. spicy. Yeah. I did taste this, y'all. and I mean, surprisingly, it wasn't bad. It's not something that I'm probably going to request, but they they were all about it. They really enjoyed it. This is like one of Jason's favorite drinks. So, put the pickle juice in. Since I'm doing the vermouth, I would do an ounce of pickle juice. If I didn't have the vermouth in it, I'd probably go with a half ounce of pickle juice. Just because there's so much bite to it. And then, sure. Alright, y'all. My dog, our sweet dog, hey, okay, why is that not going? It usually fits on this one. My sweet dog Hazel does not like when we are not paying her attention. She is walking back and forth behind the camera with a toy in her mouth, crying. So if you hear that, she's fine. She's fine. All right, that's a pinch of salt to it. Of course, there's no gin in this, so we're just going to shake it in our martini shaker. glass, martini glass, whatever you have. Look at that color. It's so disgusting looking. <laughs> I was just going to say it actually ah, looks okay. pretty. It looks pretty. It looks pretty. I was just going to say it actually looks pretty. Right. You just have to know what you're getting when, you, when you're when you served this. I'm sure. Let's see if you can sip it without the thing. Oh, there it goes. Fine though. It's a pretty garnish. Yeah, it really is. That looks really good. All right, so that's a, it's it's the spicy pickle. You're Martini. making it sound like you don't like it. No, they're fun. They're just not a first drink of the evening. First drink of the evening. <laughs> they're just not a fresh drink of the yeah, evening. Yeah, y'all might have been a few drinks in when you My created evening. that one. <laughs> there you go, lots of fun. The vermouth really does cut it. If you have the vermouth, it really does it actually make it makes it a really um, refreshing, sippable drink. So. Uh, I do, I do think the vermouth has a has a place there. All right, we're just moving along here, making a few yeah. drinks. Let me clean out my shaker. What am I making next? Oh, a mess. Making a mess behind the scenes is what we're making. Do you want the other shaker? No. Thanks, Marla said awesome idea for the sugar. Yeah, the sugar cubes are great. They They're really so are. easy to make, y'all, and they, they yeah, really they, just they put just in something. Play with like, the bitters put, a little bit better. Yeah, also, like, if, if you're into old fashions, which yeah. we both really yeah. like, they're, it's worth making these because they just last, and they're so easy. Oh, hey. How are you, Patrice? So glad you made it. Tonight is drinks Jason likes, Patrice, because I am not drinking right now, currently, which yeah. I'm okay with, but right now I'm not okay yeah, with. That's so much fun. Yeah, so I'm having kombucha. All right, so I made this as really my favorite, absolute favorite. You just kind of combine all the ingredients. I like to put an ice cube in it, chill it, drink it, let it mature, kind of like an old-fashioned, absolute fabulous. Yeah. We've got the spicy pickle. Atomic the spicy atomic martini, pickle martini, is that what you yeah, called it? Yeah. Lots of fun. Yeah. Lots of fun. That atomic is not fun. martini. Atomic yeah. martini, that's what it was. Alright, yeah. so now we're gonna make something which I this next drink I think is really kind of fun. And it's a take on uh Bloody Mary, right? Mm -hmm. And you think Bloody Marys are like the breakfast brunch type of drink. Yeah. And, and this is just like it, it's uh, called a Bloody Maria. It has tequila in it but I think like it's I think it's like a really cool drink because you know like you go to brunch or you go to a plate and like you get your glass and you get to go and all the stuff's already yeah, out and you have all your stuff but what if you were like having like a few friends over and you're making like fajitas or nachos right and so you already have all the stuff that you want to put into it out or like even if you like are a Taco Tuesday type of family and the kids are always eating Taco Tuesday and you're and like, you God, I can eat the drink. Yeah, you can have your blood of Maria with it. So I think it's just kind of a cool thing to have on hand and it's a lot of fun. So And y'all have been asking us to come bring bring a Bloody Mary and we haven't made our own version yet. I just we just haven't played with it. But this one is readily available, this mix, and we like Maybe it. And it's low carb. 
It's readily available in the South. I don't know if it's available everywhere, but it's local. It's from Charleston, but I've seen it at Total Beer and Wine. So if it's at Total Beer and Wine, it's likely it's, available. Yeah. But just look like But I, this is low carb. I know. This is four carbs and one dietary fiber for three ounces. So this is totally doable as so a low carb like mix. Four, four minus one is three. Three. Three yeah. for three ounces. Yeah, so ideally you'd want to do about four ounces, so you're looking about four carbs which, probably, which for a drink for a that drink has like tomatoes this, in it. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty good. And, and you think about like a bloody mary, well, like I said, you know, you do it with friends or over. Like nobody sits down and drinks a whole bottle of right. you, you know, it's like, like a party it's thing. It's like a party yeah. thing. So you're drinking Brunch one or maybe whatever. two. So it's just kind of fun that way. Um so let me clean up a little bit because there's so much to this. Yeah. Clean up your clutter, baby. All right, we like to rim the glass. We've been going back and forth on what we're gonna rim it in. Oh, I want I know what I wanted to say. Just look at just look at the carbs. Like I've picked up a bunch of them at the There are some that have a ton of carbs. The Mr. and Mrs. T's, like which is like the big national brand, it's a ton of carbs. Because they add unnecessary yeah, sugar, sugar, like added stuff. sugar, not just from the tomatoes. And I guess you could make them with just tomato juice, too. You could, but well, the point when you make your own, you use tomato juice, but then you add all the spices and the Worcestershire and all of that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, the point of this also. is that it's all in here. So you're not supposed to have to add stuff. Well, you add stuff, but yeah, there, there are a little bit of carbs in that. Yeah, because it's in here already. Yeah. Okay. Well, we can kick out the worst or something. I don't care. Okay. Well, I mean, that's the point of the mix. Is that like it, has, it says? Uh, literally, it says two thirds mix, one third vodka, garnish, and serve over ice. Yeah. Right. It's supposed to be all all there for you. Yeah. It's supposed to be easy. All right. So, what do we want to rim this? With it's a tequila drink, it's a tomato based drink. We've gone back. And I'm forth. saying the sriracha. Yeah, we. You could, I was thinking this. You could do some salt with a little bit of, of spice put into it, kind of like what we do with the spicy. You just do lime salt. Um, we I said them. now they're right there. Yeah, so we got these great fresh jacks. These are all really good. Yeah. Um, if you pepper if, habanero is really probably gonna be my favorite one for this. Um, Eric is thinking sriracha. I don't really think but sriracha. This one Mexico. right here is my That's favorite thing. That's what we do with tequila. This habanero lime hot sea salt rim any glass in any kind of tequila type drink. This is my favorite margarita rimmer. I am obsessed with this. I'm obsessed with this company. It's my whole spice cabinet. But this stuff here, if you're into making margaritas or any kind of tequila yeah. drinks, oh my gosh. Deborah said you could use celery salt. You totally yeah, could. Yeah, you could use celery salt, too. You could add too. some celery salt to it. And you, could, totally you might work. want some celery salt to put in the um, um, Yeah, that would totally work. Maybe. But before he makes this drink, I'm just going to plug. This is obviously not sponsored, but I'm just going to plug it because I love These it. This is always listed down below in the description if you're interested in trying Fresh Jacks. You can get five of this size in a set and you can pick anything that you want and make your own set or three like big bottles. It's really pretty affordable. It's and the quality is the best mm -hmm. of any spice I've ever gotten. Anyways. The other thing I like to do with it sometimes is put some of the taco seasoning on it, but the taco seasoning is so kind of overpowering, messy. isn't and it's it? It's so messy. It like gets Messier everywhere. Than the salt. And it's like it's steady, you know, it's just like I don't so I'm not gonna fool with that tonight. We're just gonna do a little All right, bit of which one should he use? We're just going to do a little bit Pepper, of Pepper, habanero, um, habanero, lime, or sriracha? Which one should we use, y'all? Y'all tell us. While he's getting we're everything gonna, else ready. We're going to renew. I like this um, allulose. What is this? I don't even it's know. allulose. It's just yeah, liquid, just liquid allulose. allulose. It, this isn't really a sweet drink, but this has enough of a stick to it. Yeah, it's Especially just, if you're not going with a fine powder. Um, uh, peppered habanero. All right, All there. Right, we're going to do pepper habanero. Just for you, Lindsay. That's the one he wanted to use anyway, because that was his first choice. I was we saying the sriracha. We're getting, yeah. We I might mean, have some wine. We, we have need to of order us. some more of some, like a bunch of stuff that I'm almost out of. Habanero lime is the best. Oh my gosh. We also it's so that, good. The ghost pepper salt. We actually going to put some of the ghost pepper salt. Ghost yeah. pepper salt. Oh my gosh. As a native Marylander, I always wonder, is Jason, yeah, he's from PA. <laughs> he knew that. That's hilarious. Yeah, he's from Pittsburgh. 
He is not a Southern guy at all. He's been down here since college. He went to the University of South Carolina. That's where we met. But he is from Pittsburgh. Whitney knew. <laughs> he tries to put some Southern draw in there sometimes, but it's definitely not his standard, y'all. This kombucha is actually really good. It's It would be better with a little alcohol in it, but, you know. You do what you gotta do. This is right. The thing I really like about these fresh jacks, like these spicy ones, there's a good pepper one, there's a habanero one, there's a sriracha one, they're not overpowering. Ann said she just added the habanero lime salt to her chili that's on the stove right now. Oh. That sounds good. Yeah. Oh my we're gosh, not allowed yeah. to, and we're not allowed to add the habanero <laughs> lime to food. Yeah, that's it's exclusively <laughs> for Erica's margaritas, but I love the habanero <laughs> lime. I do use it sometimes. Yeah, kombucha is so refreshing, and I'm on some antibiotics right now. So whenever I'm on antibiotics, I like to get the live probiotics. So kombucha, a little bit of kombucha every day is my favorite way to get it, especially right now because I'm not doing dairy, so I couldn't even do yogurt. I haven't tried the non-dairy yogurt. I've never really ventured into that world because I don't really want to be non-dairy. It right. makes me very sad. Like, I'm sad to give up alcohol for a little while. I am so sad to give up dairy. Oh. All right, so just I get a glass. I know you uh, just get a glass and start building whatever you want. What am I making? A Bloody Maria. A Bloody Maria. So, again, I'm going with the Reposado. I also have a Blanco I like that I could go with here, but this is available, so we'll do it. I'm going to go two ounces again. You can do as much alcohol in this as you want. I would not do less than two ounces. Yeah, because you would lose the flavor. Because yeah, this has so much flavor. So, we're saying it's... Four minus one, I think is what we said. Three carbs, yeah. So yeah, gonna... Lindsay, I, I agree. Like, I wish because of packaging, I wish they could send us, like, refills for our glass bottles um, or our or their larger bottles, too. That would be nice. That's something that maybe I'll suggest to them next time I talk to them. I don't know if they've thought about that, but it would probably be less money for them, too, to send things in like that plastic packaging, like in a larger amount. I don't know, that's a well, really they, good idea. They probably have to tool up to make the new packaging. Yeah, I mean, if they're a small family owned company, but y'all, they're growing like crazy. I don't know how small they are. They actually just moved into mm -hmm. a new building. So. Half an ounce of lime juice just because it does add a little oh, bit of Oh, Whitney, yeah, uh, not yet. Whitney says she would kill for a Bloody Mary, but she's 10 days post-op VSG. Well, then you're right with me, Whitney. We, no alcohol. No alcohol club. Thanks this for is, hanging out anyways. This is green chili hot sauce. This is one of those I love to get hot sauces as presents, like Christmas time and we, everything. So Lots of people buy them hot sauce at Christmas, whatever which is you, always awesome. Whatever you want. It. Like I said, we've got the taco bar out for the kids. So there's a little taco sauce sitting around. So some squirt on that in there. Whatever you like. Hey girl, hey, hey Kelly, hey Janet. Somebody said something about celery salt. That's an absolute must for a celery salt. Um, yeah. Bloody Mary, but we're gonna go with this ghost pepper habanero or what Ooh, is this ghost pepper. It's gonna be spicy. Yeah, that's the thing about it. It's not. Well, that is it, the it, thing about these really fresh jack salts. These seasoning like ghost salts. Ghost pepper. You put that much ghost pepper on yeah. something, and you're done. Yeah. If you typically you, you would think these coffee? were gonna be like crazy spicy, but what they're not. Right? They are so well balanced, y'all. Toasting you with my crystal light. That that yeah, works. Yeah. Actually, Jeff, I do need the Boston Trader. So good. There's a couple people that can't drink right now that are with right, me so with the sparkling water. That makes me feel better. That makes me feel better. All right, cutting up an avocado. I can remember there was a place. A nice avocado. Yeah. Right. You don't even need it. Uh, there was a place down at the. Um, don't put it in there. It's not going down the drain. It's just sitting there for right now. Sorry, I always throw stuff at the sink as my for my trash can. And then I always fix the disposal. <laughs> um, there's a place down in Charleston or, or around Charleston that we used to go to for breakfast. My dad loved to go there, and the, the reason they loved to go there is because of the Bloody Mary. Because of the Bloody Mary. And they are they always had like your glass, right? In Boston Shaker sitting there because you had to do it all. They just brought you. They brought you. 
a pint glass with two ounces of vodka in it, and then you went and did it. You did the whole thing. And and I was watching. I could I not it. get my dad to shake his with like he refused to shake his with the shaker. But that was just my dad. That was just your dad being your dad. What are you? I'm making this like I'm about I to make like a wedge. I want like a wedge. I was doing just the other way. I was not thinking. Yeah, you know, like Here we go. pop it off. Avocado is something I can eat. I think alcohol sales spike since November 3rd. Oh my gosh. I think everybody's been drinking a lot right now. Yeah. It's been sad not to be able to have a glass of wine in my hand. Actually, I haven't watched a lot of it. I'm burying my head in the sand a little bit, and I come out and I ask Jason or I ask my kids, and then I bury it back. Like, I am so stressed out by it all. Yeah. I'm sipping on apple cider vinegar tonic recipe from another, another YouTuber. It tastes so tasty and makes my belly feel good. That's awesome. I used to do an apple cider vinegar drink every day that had apple cider vinegar and lemon and ginger. And I don't know. Are you serious? Of course I picked the one that has the sticker. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Presentation, Erica. But I got away from doing that. I do take apple cider vinegar pills now, but... While I'm working on my health, I think I probably need to go back to that drink once a day. That's a good reminder. Thank you, Deborah. I think I'm going to add that back in. So there we go. Bloody Maria. Make Taco Tuesday into awesome Taco Tuesday. So in, I don't know, six weeks or so when I'm allowed to do Taco Tuesday, I probably won't even like that, though. That's probably, I don't, I'm not a huge Bloody Mary fan. I'm not a huge cold tomato fan. Like, I don't even like gazpacho. It's just <clears> not my thing. But if it's spicy enough, then I would sometimes like it. But right now, I can't do spicy no. either, so. But I can do this right now. now. I can eat this avocado. I'm going to get up tomorrow morning and watch the soccer. Instead of having a pint, I'm going to make myself some Bloody, some Bloody Marys. Marys. <laughs> You're going to make Bloody Marys tomorrow or Bloody Marias? Probably Bloody Marys. Bloody Marys. You need the olives and the celery. I know he didn't really think that through. His... You need a lot more happening there. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like well, you're that's saying why it's so perfect if you have it's not people a bloody over. Mary, it's just a bloody Mary. Well, no, if you have people over and you're doing then fajitas you and you're doing nachos sides. and then it's already there, it's fun, it's yeah. kind of cool. You could have all the sides. Otherwise, that's well, the, that's the hardest thing about making a bloody Mary is you've got to pull all that stuff out. You yeah. gotta figure out where it is. I don't know if I want to put an olive in that, but I don't like you olives. Black olive. You could. I don't like olives. I guess you put black olives, maybe. Thirteen months out and have yet to have a drink. Just scarily on my butt. <laughs> yeah, Carol, I definitely didn't wait that long. And truthfully, I know a lot of people say after VSG surgery that it hits them harder. Alcohol never hit me harder. That was never an issue for me. I had a glass of champagne a few months in, and it was just like the last time I've had a glass of champagne. It hasn't hit me hard at all. Um, I don't know if I just have a natural tolerance or something. I have no idea. It doesn't seem to matter if I take six months or a year off of drinking or if I drink three or four or five times a week. It's always the same. Or go hardcore like those places that garnish their Bloody Marys with a slider or bacon. Oh, yes. If we were having y'all over for a Bloody Mary or a Bloody oh, Maria yeah. party, oh, wow. we'd have the bacon. We'd have the blue cheese. We'd have all of it. You know, we might even have little mini chicken um nug like little mini we have chicken wings chicken wings that's not what i'm trying to say hey I dad yeah. your sister wants me to tell you that she loves bloody mary's she yeah. can't figure out how to use the chat so she texted me <laughs> hey Kay, i'm glad you're watching us yeah i know i was telling next the story next time you come over maybe we'll have that i got he, hey he was just telling the story about dad i don't know if you were on yet about i got an extra bottle sitting in, the, sitting in the cooler over there yeah we do have to next time i come down i'll bring it yeah there. It'll be awesome. Yeah, I was telling the story. I don't know if you were on. I was telling the story about going to the mm -hmm. to the restaurant and dad. <laughs> you know, dad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, last drink of the night, unless we get some kind of request or something. Yeah, y'all are favorites. welcome to tell us if there's something you'd like that you have that you'd love to drink that you would like us to keto buy or make. Y'all are far. moving fast. I know a lot yeah, of people. Yeah. A lot of people like to drink lower carb just because it's lower calorie as well. So, like, you totally don't have to be keto to want to drink lower carb drinks because it's naturally going to be less calories when we're talking alcoholic beverages because it's all that sugary stuff that gives you all the oh, extra yeah. calories. So, you do not have to be a low carber or a keto person to want to drink lower carb drinks because a lot of people don't want to drink all of their calories in their alcohol, right? 
A margarita? That is my favorite, Kelly. She can make you a margarita. Gin and tonic is not okay for keto. Tonic is full of sugar, but it's super easy if you use diet tonic. Just ask for diet tonic. Gin and tonic is something you can very easily order out. Just ask for diet tonic. I have had a couple of clients think they were doing really well drinking gin and tonics and they weren't wondering why they weren't showing ketones because they didn't realize that tonic had sugar. Tonic has a lot of carbs, y'all, a lot of sugar. I don't know if I can make a margarita. I don't know if we have... Do we not have lime? We don't have lime ice, I don't think. Well, oh. Uh, you gotta have lime ice. Here's a tonic mixture. Okay, so this is one. one of the tonic mixers. Who, Kelly? Zevia makes a tonic water. So these you can buy on Amazon. You can buy them at a lot. A lot of like Total Beer and Wine places have these kind of things too. And a lot of bars now are carrying diet tonic of some sort. But this is one that we have and that we use as a mixer for sure. Have you made a white Russian keto yet? Yes, oh, yeah. we did that on the last live. Oh, yeah. make no, a couple lives ago. A couple lives ago, but yeah, we, yeah, he yeah. can make that. Okay, so apparently we don't have either. everything that we need for a margarita. Oh, we do. We do. oh you we found do. it? Okay. We'll make that. Okay. You want me to make that right now? Yeah. All right. Go in order. Should we make a margarita with this diet? Do you uh, want to make a spicy up? margarita or you want the old the, a plain margarita? Old if you buy our low carb cookbook, there's all kinds of margaritas. There's a hibiscus yeah. if, one. If you want a low carb, I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to sell cookbooks, but if you want to make a low carb margarita, you always have to use a cookbook. Because you need to know you how to make the triple sec. You need to know how to make triple sec. That's where you get hung up with the margarita. You have to know how to make a low carb triple sec. It's super easy, like super, super, super easy. But it, you have to make that ahead. Of time. So there is that extra step where the G and T, all you do There's, is get the diet. Yeah, I have triple sec. Here's a lot of we just have, and what it is like. 35 yeah, when, carbs. We, when we're trying to make something for the cookbook, or when we're trying to make ridiculous. something, we buy the real thing. Although this one we had from oh, we, had we drank or regular. Whatever. We've had this for years, probably. Probably, but um, there's like 35. There's a lot of carbs, carbs in this in regular, like triple a regular triple sec margarita. So yeah. we get rid of this one. We make our own. We use brandy and oranges um, and a little bit of essential oil for it, orange oil for it. Um, but they're delicious. They really, I mean, it, it, if you are a margarita person yeah. and you want to be low carb, it, the cookbook is what you want. It really yeah, is. Yeah, it just makes Jack, it easy. Jack, get the salter out, um, please. Kelly was asking about creamy type drinks, like rum chata type the drinks. The what? It's um, for the margarita. The creamy type drinks are doable. They it's took us a little bit more finesse, a oh, um, little bit more work sometimes to get it exactly right. I mean, heavy cream obviously is fine on keto, is low carb. So that part is fine. You just have to get in all of the different mixers and make them on your make the syrups and the mixers. You have to make low carb versions of those and then put it together. So that will totally work. And Deborah, we are totally gonna do a holiday drink thing, very beginning of December probably, and go eggnog, Irish cream, all those kind of holiday drinks, um, a, a mold cider. A red sangria. We're going to do all that kind of stuff coming up for sure. It's going to be a little harder because I can't really drink them right now. So Jason's going to have to be just my taster and I'll make them and you I taste mean, them. I made all the Halloween drinks. You did make all the Halloween drinks. So all right. Are we making this spicy? Do we get an answer on that? Or she just didn't to, say, so just go just straight. Just go straight. I was all telling right. someone on Facebook about your infused alcohol using the whipped cream canister, oh, yeah. right? Definitely. That is the fastest, easiest coolest way to make infusions ever like i love yeah. doing that <laughs> so the hardest that like the triple sec is a huge challenge to the margarita the lime is a huge challenge to the margarita because you need three right. ounces of lime Margaritas. juice you need and the triple sec so you're talking like limes 40 are carby. plus carbs right yeah. so here's our recipe um, this is fresh squeeze. We use, uh, you know, Jackson, I, look that drink up. Chi Chi. Um, we Wait, use the, the volcano lemon juice. Don't use the lime juices. Don't yeah. use the, the store bought lime juices. Squeeze your own. This is fresh squeezed lime juice. But we came up with a really great way to cut down. Ounce and a half of that. To cut down the carbs by using less lime. Yeah. And it's, the, it's, it's this, this thing right here. You don't have to make it, you just buy it. Sparkling ice, lemon, lime. We use these 
in, in all different kinds of flavors stuff. of it. This is the best one. Stuff. This is the best one. It's a uh, it's a pina colada with yes, vodka. Yeah, we'll do hot buttered rum too. Okay. A pina colada with vodka. Okay, we can do that. Not tonight. Not tonight. Not tonight. So we can, we'll look into a chichi, but in the cookbook we have a pina colada, so you could take my pina colada recipe and then turn it into that probably. All right. So you got. Sorry, I'm reading too because no, people no, are writing I stuff. I'm ounce sorry. and a half of the fresh lime juice, an ounce and a half of the sparkling ice. That gives you your three ounces of your lime kind of flavoring because that's really what a margarita right. is. You don't you want to get over the mixes. You yeah. want to make it and fresh. And we have bought some of the low-carb mixes and just really been disappointed. So this is the way to do it, right? The, the sparkling ice was brilliant. We tried so many different, we tried different, different brands different and different, different things and different ways to make it low-carb. We really put a lot of work into it. And that was really the... Thing. Yeah, this is uh, brandy with orange in it. It takes about two weeks to make it the quick way. It takes about a month to make it the longer way. But the only actual work is peeling your peeling your oranges, right? Right. I mean, it's it's super simple. Yeah. Super simple. So I got a half an ounce of that in there. We did nothing in this book that's complicated. I like mean, if you think that these drinks would be too complicated and it's not worth it. I, I promise you it's super, super easy. And I think y'all would really be happy. I'm not trying, I feel like I'm talking about the cookbook a lot, but if when you we- If you want a margarita, you gotta buy it. If you love margaritas, if Cranberry you infused cookbook. cocktails. I um, have, did I put cranberry in the sangria? Maybe. I think I did. I'm working on a red sangria that I think has a cranberry in it. I know we're all over the place. So we've got, I always like to recap. Sorry, recap. We got an ounce and a half of the um, fresh lime, an ounce and a half of the sparkling lime ice, half an ounce of triple sec. I did about half an ounce, three quarters of an ounce of swim. This is the only shortcut we take. Like this is the only store bought stuff that we actually You could totally make like. your own. And you need a bottle of this to make your yes. own triple sec, yeah. okay? Right. So, um, very Tell important. Why. This, why do we buy this instead of make it? It just, it just has a better mouthfeel to it. Right. I we think. have yet to create this exactly. It has, like, the mouthfeel, if you know what I'm saying. Like, it's just different. It's worth it. And I've yet to totally create that, recreate that. So, I do make a lot of my own syrups, but, um, your simple syrups are a game changer. Thank you, Deborah. All right, this I'm is, so glad you like it. And they're so simple, right, Deborah? Aren't they so simple to make? I'm going Blanco I'm here. I'm like looking at the computer like I'm talking to Deborah, but Deborah's up here. I am so sorry, y'all. I struggle with where I'm looking. I like, got two ounces of Blanco. I'm sorry. I would totally do Reposado here, but I think I'm out. I wasn't planning on doing a lot of tequila tonight. Um, this is El Mejor. We like it. Um, I go a little bit pricier on the Blanco than I do on the Reposado. Just better quality, a little better flavor. Reposado obviously has built-in quality to it. All right, shake with ice. And, Thank you, Deborah. Deborah says our, our cookbook is great and unique. That's what we wanted it to be. Yeah. Like, well, low carb and unique, like fun. Yeah. You know, you want to go to a you can't go to a bar and order a low carb. Like you go to all these it's cool bars. It's very rare to find a low bars, carb drink other than just like a GN diet or like a diet coke and whatever. You're you want yeah, right. You can make coke anything with alcohol low like carb, that. but you want like a, a cocktail, cocktail and yeah. So it's do fun it. to do it at home and. We just, over COVID season, had all kinds of time on our hand and decided to start making drinks. We have never, ever been into creating cocktails before that. It just kind of came, and we started having fun with it and started doing this Friday nights, and we have so much fun with it. I'm having fun even though I'm not drinking. Yeah. I would have more fun if I was going to drink this margarita, y'all, because margaritas are my favorite. All right, rim it with the salt. I've got it all made. Just to recap, I always like to recap. An ounce and a half of fresh lime, an ounce and a half of sparkling ice, half an ounce of our homemade triple sec. I already put the spoon away. Half an ounce to three fourths of an ounce, depending on what you like How in a margarita. Like it. Two ounces of tequila, and you are good to go here. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it and strain it. 
I gotta figure out where my strainer However, goes. However, this and is there's not. A, no, let me say this real quick okay. before I forget. This is not the recipe for a frozen margarita. No. It does not convert well. I don't know why, no, 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 no. but making a frozen margarita is a completely different yeah. ball game. I have a great recipe in the cookbook again. I feel like I'm saying cookbook too. It's a little bit more. Work, I don't but... need to be pushing the cookbook, but this doesn't freeze the same way. Mm -hmm. Um. Do we have a suggestion for a sugar rim? Absolutely. I. You can either use uh, use this same allulose yeah. and rim it so that it's sticky, and then you roll oh, it in either, then you just roll it in allulose, not not liquid allulose, regular allulose, or you could roll it in Lakanto, any kind of, um, like erythritol sugar. What you're you could, well, she's asking how to make a sugar rim. For what drink? Well, just a basic sugar rim. Like a sidecar? No, baby, we're not getting specific. Some some things you do a sugar rim and you just do a portion of it. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Okay. Well, she's just asking what kind of sugar to use. Good yeah, margarita. Is it good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not spicy. I like them spicy too. Yeah, I like them spicy too. But really um, easy. 2021 time to stream for union in Mexico. Oh, oh. that sounds fun. We need a much bigger budget for that, though. We need to get a lot more people watching <laughs> for that trip. <laughs> but that would be so fun. Oh, my gosh. That would be so fun. And we do have an amazing frozen margarita, but it's a, it's a totally different drink. It's just a totally different drink. And that one took a lot of work. Yep, if you like... If you like frozen still drinks, have drinks after BSG, we've got the right. frozen pina colada in it. We've got a frozen strawberry daiquiri in it. And again, they're like, if, if those are drinks that you absolutely love, I we think hard we really work hard recipe, at perfecting right? it. So it's really kind of worth getting the Google if you love this type if of that's drink. Your favorite, if that's your yeah. kind of drink and you're like, I'm low carb. And, okay. Let me um, answer a couple of these real yeah. quick. Okay. So Delia says, can we have drinks after BSG? Says, what is VSG? Okay, VSG is vertical sleeve gastrectomy. A lot of people that follow me have had that surgery because I had it myself almost two years ago now. You oh, can yeah. drink after VSG, but not immediately. So I don't know how far out you are. Some doctors say a year, some doctors say six months, some doctors say three months. All surgeons are different. Basically, they just want you to be careful because some people it hits a little harder. It didn't hit me any differently. I probably waited three months and had a glass of champagne. Um, I didn't really drink very often. I drank hard, pretty darn rarely while I was losing because alcohol does kind of stall you because it's technically a toxin, right? So your body has to burn it before anything else. So if you're adding much alcohol to your diet, it can definitely and all the chemistry changes and stuff, it can definitely stall you. So if you are in that weight loss mode, alcohol is a very, very rare treat, is what I would say. That would be my advice. I don't know how far out you are, Delia, um, but that would be my advice. And then once you're at maintenance and maintaining pretty well, then you can have a couple drinks a week or something and it's not going to bother you, or at least not most people, you know. Um, that, I mean, how I feel about it. I forgot we were so close in surgery. It'll be two years in January. Oh, yeah. I'm November 23rd. So, I'm almost to my two years. We'll see where I am at two years. I pretty much lost my first year and maintained my second year. I kind of got to where I felt good and felt really good about myself. Now I'm kind of thinking maybe I want to lose some more, but I did a really good job of maintaining for a good little while there. How much weight did I lose? 100 pounds. I lost right out of 100 pounds. Exactly. Exactly. A couple times I dropped down a little more than that, but pretty much stayed right at 100 pounds loss for me. And I credit that mainly to the ketogenic way of eating, truthfully. I... I don't know that I would be where I am if I hadn't done low carb. That's what works for me. I have lots of friends. I don't know if Patrice is still on here or not, but she is way farther out than me and has had amazing success, and she's never done low carb stuff. 
So every, everything works different for everybody. But for me, I think keto has been like my savior with maintaining weight loss. All right, back to drinking. Somebody was asking about... Back to drinking, um, y'all. Well, I need yeah, some more kombucha. They were asking about White Russian. White Russian. So this is our um, low-carb... What is this, Jackson? Uh, uh, coffee liqueur. By the way, this is really good. This Dahlia Sophia G-Spot kombucha is really good. Is uh, it's coffee liqueur for. And um, again, just I don't know how you search it. We have a YouTube that is uh, like a, we have. Um, I don't, were we live for that? Did we do the coffee one live? I can't remember. I feel like it was in our Halloween. Um, no, no, it was no, before, that. before that. We have a time to drink playlist. I mean, a time to drink playlist. You can go to the playlist and look for what drink you're but looking for. But this is one you can make if you have the ingredients. Like you could make it tomorrow and drink yeah. it tomorrow because we have an infusion right. way but to like do it. Like somebody talked about earlier that we do a, a drink infusions yeah. with a whipped cream canister using nitrous oxide. So you could make this just like that. Yeah, you can make it. You it didn't make this sound. There we go. What we use, we use vodka and brandy, brandy. and then vodka to make the drink too. So, look, yeah. if, if somebody was asking about white Russians, we absolutely love them. If also, I, I'm sorry, I don't remember who it was. When you make your white Russian, take a couple sips of it, then go and open a Coke Zero and pour <laughs> about two ounces of Coke this Zero in your white Russian, and it will absolutely it change your life. It elevates it. It it's, will absolutely change your life. <laughs> yeah, somebody, one of y'all told us, I don't know if I'm there tonight, but one of y'all told us on a live, they asked him to make, it's called a bulldog, bulldog right? Bulldog, yeah. They asked him to make a bulldog. Oh, so good. This I is our put, favorite part. I almost put it on here because it is, it is one of my favorites. favorites. <laughs> this is our favorite part of our lives, is after we've made the drinks we were talking about, and people ask us to make things. Uh-oh, yeah, Jackson, so something's happening. What? I don't know, but my... All right. I think Crazy the news. computer was talking to me. Anyways. All right, I got one more drink to make from the playlist tonight, and it is yep, also... Yes, 100 pounds, Kelly. A lot of fun. All right. Oh, you have another one? I got one more that oh. I was going to do. Yeah, yeah. Okay, did you do There's everybody's request? I think you uh, did. I think I... Well, there was the one that Jack looked up oh, with. Oh, the what? what was it? The cheat sheet's a, the one we'll with, uh, it's a pina colada, but it's vodka, a, and we don't have cream of coconut. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. Don't have all the pina coladas, we, I'm telling you, we have an absolute, like, it's so out good. of this world. And it's great right without alcohol so in it, too. Good. My kids love it's it. It's so good. My kids love it as a mocktail. Um, it's so good. Like, it, we it, tried it, so hard. We did so many It was a hard drink. But yeah, definitely. We didn't easy. like it. We didn't Substitute like it. Substitute the vodka and... for the um, rum, and it sounded like yeah. you're good to go. Yeah. So it's in, the, it's in the cookbook, which is linked down below. It's only $12, y'all. If yeah. you're not going to use the Coke, can I have it? Like, I got it for Sorry. me to drink. Uh -huh. Oh. All right. So we're making a Waldorf, last one on the list. I love any kind of drink that um, uses the absinthe. Again, this is one where you would put the um, the absinthe in the glass and you kind of rim it around and dump, it out. and dump out the excess. We have this sprayer. Again, this is a great thing. It probably costs you like 16 bucks on Amazon. It wasn't very expensive at all. And I'm it's just gonna listed. Spray the glass there. We're going to come back and use a little bit more. This is a Waldorf. Yeah. Kelly, after. seriously, absinthe, you think you're going to hate it. It doesn't have any of the ramifications. ramifications those are old think. wives' those are tales. All wives tales. And it really lends something to drinks. But you don't want to use a lot of it because it's very strong. So the spritzer is perfect. It just gives you the smell more than the taste. But it doesn't taste bad either. It tastes like licorice. So if you hate licorice, yeah, I would say no. no. You love but it, trust me. I thought I hated licorice until I you drank love. absinthe and I, I enjoy it. All right. Way. So we've got two ounces. Uh, this is a Waldorf. Whitney went to Waldorf school, so she'll have to take note. <laughs> well, this is a Waldorf. It's, it's very famous from the Waldorf Astoria Hotel in New York City. Um, also known as a Waldorf, a classic Waldorf or a Waldorf, Waldorf cocktail number one. I've got about two ounces of rye vodka. Uh, rye vodka. It's not rye vodka. Rye vodka very good though. Uh, <laughs> rye whiskey. I'm going with about an ounce, uh, three fourths of an ounce of the vermouth. So it's kind of like you kind of like think of it as like a um, martini, but you're using the rye whiskey instead. 
You're also going to use some bitters. You can go any way you want. Again, the old number one uses the Angostura bitters. Probably do about two dashes, and those are dashes right there, y'all. Like, really shake your wrist. It's okay to put some flavor into your dashes. Looks like a bunch of people are saying keto has helped them with their weight loss and maintenance, which is awesome. I, I think it's definitely a great way for very many people. It's obviously my first time using a Boston shaker here, but there you go. And you can go with a garnish here of some sort of peel if you want. Um, I'm not going to because this where it gets a little tricky, y'all. I'm going to give it another little spritz of the absinthe on top. Just half spritz there. <laughs> there you go. That's a classic Waldorf, Waldorf cocktail number one. Or that sounds Waldorf. pretty good. That's great. I kind of want to taste that. I'm not going to, but I kind of want to. Mm. We had to pause. We had to have a moment of silence for that drink, apparently, y'all. <laughs> That's a pretty, That's a pretty uh, bougie drink right there, y'all. It's a bougie drink. Oh, yeah. Well, as one of Jason's best friends always calls, <laughs> says he's bougie, she's always saying he's the most bougie guy. <laughs> All right, so those are our drinks for tonight. Um, lots of fun. Easy. Those are my favorites. They are just... Didn't someone request a white Russian? He did that. Oh, well, yeah. He just talked through it. Uh, he showed the how to use it, how to make it, that you would need to make the Kahlua. You gotta make the Kahlua. Yeah. All right, y'all. Well, thanks for hanging out with us tonight. We had so much fun. We try to do one of these every single Friday night. Sometimes it's live. Sometimes it is posted. Not this week, but next week we'll be live streaming again. Okay, so next week... There'll be a pre-filmed one yeah, that you'll see true. at 8 p.m. and that's then not I don't know. I don't know. Apparently, I don't know what I'm talking about. But sometimes we're live on Fridays at 8. Sometimes or Fridays at 8, you show yeah. up and we have a pre-filmed show uh, for you. But we try to always have something every Friday night at 8. We missed only once. Last week we missed. I was having a really rough time. But Next week, if you want to drink along with us, we're going to turn one can of Gosling's ginger beer into three different drinks. Oh, Lots okay. Of fun. Are we doing live next week? Uh, no, we're going to record it. We're going to record it. Yeah, okay. we're, we're going to record it, but I've already got it planned out. So it's um, through one can of Gosling's ginger beer. If you're not familiar with it, um, great. You can use any kind of ginger beer you want, but if you're not diet, ginger diet, beer. diet Gosling's, then... It's the best. It's oh, the best. Doing it's the best. Like, yeah. okay. So that's going to be next week. They're all three of those drinks are going to be in our cookbook, too. And that's, that's a wrap for that's the night, y'all. And Hazel says she's so glad, huh? Bye, y'all. Be blessed. Happy Taco Tuesday. <laughs> On Friday.